And I guess it's been over a month now since we got back. With those 19 days, I didn't want to leave at the end. I felt like that was somewhere I needed to be, somewhere I was doing something that mattered. I, I love to take my kids out of the class because it gives them the opportunity to experience life firsthand and to tackle challenges which they don't normally get sitting in a classroom. We did cooking classes up there. So when we would start cooking, we would probably start out with about five people in the kitchen. And then all of a sudden, everyone starts coming in and they're like, can I cook? And um, I'd say, of course. I'm helping them learn different techniques, but they're also helping me learn more about their different culture and different things that they would make at home. Being in a kitchen, whether it's here in the avocado or it's up in none of it, working with the children is so different because I get to move, I get to work with my hands. I'm not reading how to cook, I'm cooking. It's a challenge that pushes them out of their comfort zone, but then strengthens them as individuals and the, the growth and the authentic learning is uh, inescapable when you're in an environment like that. In a space like this, they have to rely on others, so collaboration comes into play. They need to communicate not just with us as leaders, but also with their teammates and the people in the community, so communication comes into play in a big way. We related. There was something to learn from one another the entire time. There was also something I could teach them, something they could teach me. This whole experience North is based on partnership. A lot of the students haven't met each other, so they're starting to build that partnership. And then we do the communication up north, so we link them as much as we can through Skype, through Facebook, before we even get there, so they're just starting to develop a relationship. I was a part of the exchange trip earlier this year down to Stratford. We saw different places, like we went to a cooking school. Eventually, when I'm done with school, I feel that it'd be best if I go down south to go to a culinary school to learn more. Maybe even eventually open up a place here that's an actual restaurant. On the teacher side, of course, we have developed a relationship where we work with each other. We have had our students Skype into their, their classrooms and do cooking classes. Priya, do you recognize anyone in the class? Hi, Matt. Who's that? That's my brother. Yeah. <laughs> it was about interacting with those people that had been around for so long. Their stories were just incredible. I was so interested by what they had to say. <laughs> <laughs> it was never, where's my phone, what's happening on my phone. The community really just taught me to just kind of relax, to calm down a second, and just really appreciate what's around you. It's learning how to grow as a human, how to connect not just with the people, but the culture, the land. So it gives you a space to open up. It energizes me. It, it takes me out of the classroom and allows me to to take the kids into an authentic learning environment where they can grow as individuals and, and I can grow as a teacher. There's a, a lot to be shared, a lot to be learned from teachers across our country and around the world and these opportunities allow us to grow as individuals. What I love to see when we're here is, is to watch their students share their culture with such pride with our students and our students learning so much about, about life in the North. 